The perfect hunting and fishing companion, your Weeby Knife, designed by sportsmen for sportsmen. After all, it's a Weeby. Order your Weeby Knife today with up to 24 replacement plates, free and guaranteed $5 flat rate shipping on any sized order at WeebyKnives.com. Got a good location right here. We got a beaver dam on this side of the highway. Um, big cross over there. They're all flooding back here in the river. We got two active houses back there. All these beaver come up through here. Um, they're not coming up over the road. A lot of times they'll go right through the culvert over here to this side. That's plugged up. And this is where I have the traps. There's really no places set out here. Um, they're all coming underneath, underneath the highway. Over here I got um, two uh, condo bears on the crossover, one on the upside, one on the low side, and then one foothold. So I wanted to try to blast them with as many traps as I could and try to get them out of here in a couple nights and be done with it. These bloodshot eyes of knowledge Too proud to ever behold The all that is this and nothingness Out on the, the bad river road Out on the bad river road Today we're going to be finishing up Todd's beaver line and take note of how efficient he is and also how quickly he moves throughout the whole day. He leaves nothing in the tank and so sit back and enjoy. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this foothold and uh, just keep the two, uh, two crossover sets there. I always like that feeling. It never gets old. And there we probably got the big female. Haven't seen it yet, but this is what these two TS-85s do. They kind of catch them up above the hawk there and this beaver is not going anywhere. And that's why I love this trap so much, even though I have other mixed brands of Bridger number no. fives or um, MB 750s, but this is my trap of choice right here if I could if I could use them all the time And they're easy for me to get off Because the levers are high the levers are above the jaw. I love that for taking them off like that. So um, Work very very well. So we have a nice big beaver here. We just got in a drowner And looks like we might even have three beavers here out of three traps not for sure yet But I see the sticks are knocked down up there in the crossover I'll get that off here in a little bit. We'll put him up there. I'm going to pull that set anyways. And then I'm going to go over here and check these in the... Beaver are crossing up over here. Going back down that way, I can see we have a beaver there. And uh, cables stretch out that way, but you can't ask for a better set in the springtime. Could you explain how every dam has to cross over? Most dams do. If they have a secondary dam down or if they want to go down there, um, They'll have a major crossover too. You know, instead of going up on the sides, a lot of times they always say the otter will hug the sides, beaver will go over the middle. I've seen both. Um, but uh, yeah, they just, beaver will have a crossover, easy place for them to go over to slide down or come back up. And it's just a well grown, uh, well, well grooved trail as you can see here. You know, little indention here, goes right down here, right there where we got the beaver. And then they go back in here. And up there a few hundred yards, there's another culvert that goes underneath the highway. So they just make a big complete circle through here, um, checking out the dam to make sure it's still holding up water. Um, even though these beaver are dead, you can still see all this fresh mud through here. So that just indicates that probably maybe another beaver or two still in here. There's two active lodges back there. So maybe we could get another two or three beaver out of here. So we'll reset these and go from there. And it looks like a couple two-year-olds here, smaller beaver, and then the bigger one over there, and still no female. So there's probably a resident female here and maybe even a couple uh, 
a couple more two-year-olds. And that's just a guess because of the two lodges back there. Yeah, no bait, no lure. Trap upside down. Cable out there. Just like that. like this here I believe that this was a lot higher water at one time because they just can't get up that high with the, with with this being probably six seven feet deep out there you know what I mean Weeby trap line adventures is brought to you by Shields all sports follow your passion for everything outdoors by Dakota line snares and trapping products snares loaded for speed and by Weeby fleshing and skinning knives we are wicked sharp we are Weeby I've been a professional trapper for over 40 years, and in that time, I've skinned literally thousands of animals. I've learned that it doesn't matter how cool a knife looks on your hip. What really matters is sharpness and reliability. And that's why I created the Weeby Wicked Sharp line of replacement blade knives. These are knives that will quickly skin your critters without skinning your wallet. Visit WeebyKnives.com to get my Wicked Sharp Vixen folding knife with 24 replacement blades for only $34.95. Weeby Knives, Wicked Sharp. To me, when you start seeing them higher cuttings back there, I believe the water was higher, and that's why this dam has probably kept going up and up more. So, and they don't have to be on the ground. No, right? They'll, I mean, they'll, yeah, they'll cut anything. You know, I mean, exactly, all through back there. You know, but you know that that one there is probably about three feet high. You know, the ones over there, that bunch. Yeah. And to me, you can see the water level where it's dropped already a little bit. You know, below them cuttings. So I believe that the water was up, you know, and, and they were up there floating and cutting and chewing on them. So, they're pretty cool little animals. female they uh they get very very smart um and not just her but i mean she's kind of the bread and butter of the family you know keeping tabs on everybody the lodge you know everybody works to build the dams and stuff like that but she's kind of the, the resident leader you know but not not just her you snip any of these here they get pretty they get pretty smart that's where you have to use a lot of uh you know i guess tricks if you will you know, maybe use a lot more snares or footholds under the water and, you know, maybe switch up to an oil sack, you know, a little bit of different lure instead of just caster base. Or if you find their crossovers like this here, you know, put a foothold down so it doesn't, you know, they don't, uh, I don't know if they get really trap shy to be a certain, I, I, I sometimes I think they get area shy too, you know, they see a lot of their dead beaver or a lot of their other dead beaver and stuff floating and things like that so again this is all just you know my my take on it and I do wear gloves um, I always have and I always will uh, about 20 years ago I got Giardia and um, from beaver water then um, got very very sick from it and I, I don't ever want to go down that road again um, so I do wear gloves helps keep my hands um, safe I guess if you will not all chapped up um, and that's just me. The older I get, my hands aren't like they used to be. So I, uh, I enjoy wearing gloves and it's comfortable and works out for me. So that's all I do for the bottom set. They're already coming down here. I want this back a little bit. So that way when he comes down here, he'll hit up here and dive right there. You could even get dive sticks and stuff if you want to put down there, but that's just getting technical. I'll show you just uh, even a, you know, like a stick like that there. That way he won't come over top. He'll dive right underneath there and should have a couple more beavers here. Are you just primarily just going off the road? Well, just trying to, that's the easy access because you know, it's hard to get everybody's permission. You know, I can do, I just going right down the ditches, you know, and stuff like that. 
Todd is in high demand. He is often approached to remove beaver and other various critters by landowners. In this case, he tells the landowner, it's easier for me to just trap the beaver that are on your place under the bridge because they're traveling this time of the year. Trappers are needed. Okay, that brand new one, yep, okay. And they, he's got the property on both sides of the road there. Okay. And then this is Travis's 80, but this runs down and there's normally two or three beaver dams between here and the next bridge. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, we'll... But I mean, if you want, you yeah. can right ahead. Okay, I appreciate that. All right. And there's that perfect notch. Um, I dug that myself. And uh, like I said, I'm not gonna go look up and down these ditches for notches. I make that myself and gone. We be Trap Line Adventures is brought to you by Redneck Convert. Gear for the rugged, tough outdoors. By F&T Fur Harvesters Trading Post. Everything you need for trapping and hunting. And by Southern Snares Trapping Supply. Our customer success is our priority. They say the real work starts after the shot. And looking back, they could be right. Unless you carry a weeby knife. The scouting and plan were executed. The shot was perfect. Now it's time to get busy. Wicked Shark with a replaceable scalpel blade. There's not a finer hunting partner on the planet than your weeby knife. When sharpness, reliability, and precision matter, big game hunters reach for a weeby. Weeby knives, wicked sharp. And there's that perfect notch. Um, I dug that myself. And uh, like I said, I'm not gonna go look up and down these ditches for notches. I make that myself and gone. Put the stick here. There's old caster up here. They've been coming up all along the side here. So I am going to uh, just put a stick like that. Nothing more. Just to kind of detour them from coming up on this side. That doesn't stop them all the time, but maybe it's just a peace of mind for me. That's all there's to it. Let's go down the road. And here's another thing about trapping. I always bring two pairs of waders with. Let me tell you why. Because right here, if you notice, I just put a big hole in my wader from a beaver stick. So that's why I'm setting the trap from up here. So I always bring an extra pair of clothing with. Um, you never know what you're gonna run into, but yeah, I have a wet sock, but I have other socks in the, in the pickup and other pair of waders. So I always bring extra gear. There's a tip of the day. I just want to show you uh, the Sleep Easy uh, clips that I get from Dakota Snare Line. Um, amazing clips. I use them on my bobcat traps, 10 foot cable wrap around. You can put them on a drag. Um, I use them on the drowning locks. Uh, I'll show you right here for a foothold. Let me grab one right here. They clip right onto the locks I have and they screw right up. I'll show you. Clip them right onto the lock. Look at there, nothing. Nothing's going pushing that up there and it, or pushing that out or anything like that. It's locked tight. All you got to do is unlock them, take them off, do whatever. I put them on my condo bears just like this here too. I got them on, I, you put a stake through there, wrap them around a tree, they hook right back up to your cable and just like that. 
and I love them. You can just, like I said, again, just like on the footholds I showed, you can screw them up like that. And they lock tight. Perfect. You are a trader, Bob. You know what, I, I do. I like the long line. I like to put out a lot of traps. Um, I just like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of maybe like the old, uh, the old days, you know, when uh, Bud Hall used to run long lines for mink or, you know, just, yeah, all the old school guys and stuff. So kind of like to follow in their footsteps a little bit and um, get to see some different country and get to meet some farmers that want all these beaver out of here and the camaraderie of uh, Mark and Jason and makes for, uh, makes for a hard day, enjoyable day. I think we're going to probably get 10 more. See, at the end of the day, when you start getting tired and fatigued, that's where you start getting hurt. So take your time, nothing to prove. Weeby Trapline Adventures is brought to you by Cold Creek Trapping Products. Serious trapping gear for the serious trapper. By Mark Stack Animal Lures. Top quality baits and lures with proven performance. And by Weeby Knives. Don't ever get caught in the field again with a dull knife. I've been a professional trapper for over 40 years. And in that time, I've skinned literally thousands of animals. I've learned that it doesn't matter how cool a knife looks on your hip. What really matters is sharpness and reliability. And that's why I created the Weeby Wicked Sharp line of replacement blade knives. These are knives that will quickly skin your critters without skinning your wallet. Visit WeebyKnives.com to get the new Monarch folding knife with three replacement blades for just $19.95. Weeby Knives, Wicked Sharp. I do use quite a few beaver floats, and um, here's a prime location why I use them. Um, there's no place to make any kind of conibear bear set, foothold set here, so I uh, incorporate a, a beaver float. And uh, this is not my idea. This was a trapping partner's idea here a couple years ago, and we made a whole bunch of floats together, and I kind of or, or incorporated, incorporated his idea, and um, works very, very well. So, yeah, it's a very, very good tool for all these uh, cattail choked uh, spots. him out of here and then I'll show you how to set it up on here. easy to do just I put my foot right there just to hold it up set the trap
dog pointing in, just like you're doing to do like a castramone setup on the bank. A lot of muskrat in this ditch. You can see a lot of muskrat uh, droppings here. Move that over, get that out. Just like so. Both triggers are off, I mean, both uh, safeties are off. It's got that foam insulation, just like if you use it for a muskrat float for traps, exactly. But there is a catch to some of these, and I'll show you. So what I do is I take a rock, put it on the back like that, to help, to help push the back up, and I start putting debris up front. That puts a little bit of weight on it. Plus it helps kind of camouflage it from the human eye. All this stuff. Just like that. Now we're now we're good. Still gonna get a little bit of grass for the sides over here. Sometimes they like to come in from the side, so I'm just blocking it off. And then all I do is take my lure, try to get some of this debris out of here, but there we are. We had a lot of traps out today. Um, we end up with 54 beaver, and that's on a 48 hour check on some of the sets and a 72 hour check on some of the sets. A um, lot of highway, a lot, uh, lot of sets out, a um, lot of hard work. Uh, I had some good friends today, Mark Stack filming down here, Jason Muntrud helping me haul beaver in and out and just gear. Um, one thing I want to talk about line, long lining a little bit. Um, you got to be really thick skinned, you're going to run into a lot of problems. Other trappers saying your line jumping on their property or their line, you're taking their fur. Or if they have a snap trap, then it's your fault or things like that. So it's, there's a lot of things to uh, overcome long lining. Vehicles, um, maintenance, brakes, you name it. Just the simple things. A lot of lure, but um, there's a lot of fur out there to be caught. If you uh, put your mind to it, um, you, can, uh, you can be successful like this. So it was an amazing run. Again, we had 54 beaver here, um, all stacked up, and uh, it was a good day. 54 beaver was the final. Hey, do you mind if I interrupt you for a minute? Uh, I think you're going to anyway. Well, we're kind of running low on paper clips. Do you suppose we should order more? I think Bill Gates gets questions like this. Hey, I think my sister has one of those cameras. Get out. That was a phenomenal catch, and it was really a great day. Next week, we're going to be in western South Dakota snaring coyotes. Until then, peaceful waters. Out on the bad river road. Out on the, the bad river road. The whole wide world's at your fingertips. Weeby Knives, voted one of Field & Stream's best hunting products. Every Weeby Knife comes with up to 24 wicked sharp replacement blades. After all, it's a Weeby. Order your Weeby Knife today with up to 24 free replacement blades at WeebyKnives.com.